G'day, my name is Joseph. Welcome to Unity with Heaven. And so this afternoon, I'm going to sit and I'm going to minister uh, to 10 people. So the Lord gave me a word a while ago to just make sure that I every single day minister to people. And so that's what I'm doing. Uh, and so quite a few people put their names in the comments. So I actually have a list here uh, of 30 people. So I'm kind of just working uh, down the list. And so um, I'm going to sit now and record this video and then I'll probably take 20 minutes to edit it uh, and then I'll post it and then I'll do tomorrow and um, tomorrow again and I'll just continue like that okay so um, I would like to start today uh, and minister to Deborah okay so Deborah um, uh, I, I made some notes here because I, I prayed before I started this video um, and I felt that the Lord is just very happy with the way how you dealt with your past how you have let go of the hurt and you've forgiven the people and you allowed the Lord to come in and bring that cut in your life uh, and separate you from your past. And, you know, in the kingdom of God, we're not supposed to look to the past. We're supposed to look to the future that God has for you. And you've successfully been able to deal with that. And I just felt that the Lord is very proud of you. And then the Lord showed me kingdom dominion authority in front of you I, th I felt that's the anointing that God has given to you I wrote here kingdom dominion authority and that is the authority that God has given to you to deal with that what's before you so I felt that you gonna occupy territory for the kingdom of God you're going to have to fight for the free freedom and for that territory of the kingdom of God that he's given to you and but I felt there's a lot of hope and the hope is that the Lord says, you will be victorious and I will help you. And I see how the Lord strengthen you. He strengthen your arms. And you know, when, when you have the strength of God in you, it means that you're going to work with Him through His strength. And I, and I felt that the Lord says, you are walking with Him. All right, Deborah, the Lord loves you very, very much. Uh, Deborah in the, in the Bible was a wonderful uh, prophetess and a judge uh, in the book of Judges. And uh, she really brought Israel back to God. And so that same leadership anointing is also on your life. So it's wonderful that, you're, that you have this name, Deborah. God bless you. Okay, so the next word is for Polina. Okay, so Polina, um, I felt that the Lord is giving you new relationships in your life. And the Lord gave me this word, strategic relationships. Uh, and then I, I saw also a relationship, or maybe more than one, but a relationship that the Lord is healing right now. And I saw how the Lord filled you up with the Holy Spirit. And I felt that the Lord says, relationships is going to open up the doors for you to be able to go where the Lord wants you to go. And so uh, where you were stuck in the past, the Lord is putting that anointing on, on you to break the yokes so that you are unstuck and He's connecting you with strategic relationships to move you forward. And so the, the, the favor of God is upon you. And you know, relationships is all about favor. And so uh, the Lord has angels and those angels set up intersections when we meet people and uh, that's all divine and the Lord is doing that in your life. All right, so Polina, uh, the Lord loves you very, very much um, and, um, uh, you know, part of, 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 of uh, allowing relationships to heal is time uh, and forgiveness and also to sow seeds of love into that other person's life. And I believe the Lord is going to give you wisdom for that relationships in your life that's not healed to heal completely all right god bless you Polina. all right kathleen fleming so kathleen um the first thing i saw you standing and you were waving a flag and i felt that the lord is giving you a very special prophetic anointing upon your life uh, and then the lord gave me this word occupy wisdom and warnings and I felt that you are going to wave your flag and you're going to use it as a way to occupy new territory uh, that the Lord is giving. Uh, you're going to influence, you're going to have a message, you're going to have the wisdom of God upon you. And you're going to even have to warn people that want to go on the wrong path. And so I just see the hand of the Lord upon you. And so a prophetic anointing is wonderful, but it's also a hard thing because that causes us to have to have a lot of visions and dreams and we have to carry, uh, we have to push in a spirit and intercede and, and, and uh, um, stand in a gap um, uh, for some people. 
And so, but I see that anointing of God. I pour it over you uh, even in this hour. Okay, Kathleen, uh, you've been called for a long, long time in your life and you've done amazing things for God. But I just see today that prophetic anointing is very strongly poured upon your life. Okay, Kathleen, God bless you. Okay, so Janine Kotze, um, uh, the Lord gave me this word, strong leader. Uh, and I really felt that the, the Lord um, uh, has a plan for you to be a leader in the kingdom of God, uh, to be a light, uh, to speak the word of God. So what the enemy tried to do, the enemy tried to, to hurt you and to break you uh, so that you cannot be the strong leader. But I see that the Lord heals you completely and you rise up uh, as this leader of God. Uh, and then I saw a crown of joy upon your head. Okay? So now when we have a crown on our head, that's also a form of the authority and the dominion that God wants us to walk in. But your joy is with laughter. And I actually see how the enemy comes against you. And in the face of the enemy, you just kept on keeping your smile and kept on laughing. And you were not distracted or discouraged by the enemy. And so because of that, he couldn't really touch you or do anything against you. Now in a, in a scripture it says in, I think it's Romans chapter 4, 17, it says the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace and joy. And so the, the righteousness is like a, a inside layer and then the peace of God is the second layer and then the joy of God is the third layer of protection that God places around us when the kingdom of God is inside of us. And I see how those three layers come into place so that you are completely protected so just like your natural skin has three layers so in the spirit god is also putting that three layers of righteousness and the peace of god and the joy of the holy spirit on your life all right uh, janine god bless you so christina the toy um uh, the lord showed me how he takes uh, you and he makes you into a new wine sack and the lord sent me a new wine sack with new wine okay so the new wine is the kingdom of god is the the things that god is releasing in your life and he's putting it into a new wine sack. Now, to keep an, a, a wine sack um, new, you have to put oil on it. And so, usually when the Bible uses the word new wine sack, it doesn't only just mean that it's new in the sense of it, it was just purchased as a brand new one. It's also new in the sense of it's regularly being oiled. So, it's soft, supple, uh, and it remains new. So, you can have a, a, a new wine sack that's maybe a few years old, but because it's always receiving fresh oil and it's being... Um, um, massaged with the oil on it it stays new and, and I felt that's what the Lord is doing today he's just putting the oil on you and even as he put that oil on you you become soft he heals you and he prepares you it helps you to get uh, maybe the religious system out of your life where you feel you need to perform to 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 earn God's love and his uh, favor uh, but the Lord is putting His Holy Spirit on you and He's just making you soft and He's just saying to you that you don't have to perform, you just have to allow me to change you. And, and that, that's, that's what the Lord is doing. And so that change also causes growth and spiritual maturity and even uh, a window of the blessing, financial blessing of God to be upon your life. All right, Christina, God loves you very, very much. Um, so uh, let me see here. Now I got Renee. Okay, so Renee, uh, I really wanted to to give you a, a strong word to help you um, because I know um, you you are really seeking God and you're really seeking guidance from the Lord. Okay, so Renee, the first thing the Lord showed me uh, was Lot and his wife and his two daughters and how they were there and Sodom and Gomorrah and then the Lord sent sent the men in white linen and they came and they. Uh, um, uh, spoke to Lot uh, and then they helped Lot and his daughters to, to be saved okay? uh, and I felt that the Lord says I'm sending people I'm sending um, even uh, the angels and the Lord is preparing a, a, a path for you, a, a path of salvation and the Lord gave me this word the Lord is your salvation okay? uh, and then the Lord showed me also Joseph and Mary and how Joseph received a dream and the Lord says to Joseph, you have to take Mary and the child and go to Egypt. And then you stay in Egypt for a time until you can return. And so then when he was in Egypt, the Lord then gave him a dream again. I think it's after about six years or so that you can return now. And then he went to Nazareth. And that's where Jesus then grew up. Okay. And I felt that the Lord says, he's going to very clearly show it to you. Just like he showed uh, Joseph in the dream he wanted him to go to, to uh, Egypt and then of course uh, Herod wanted to kill all the babies uh, but uh, because Jesus wasn't there he was saved 
And in the same way, I felt that the Lord is going to give you very clear dreams and direction where He wants you to go, what He wants you to do, and then at the appointed time, then you will return. I also felt that the Lord says there's not going to be a separation in your family, but the Lord is going to keep the family uh, together, and that's actually the will of God. Now, of course, you you have a will so you can decide whatever you want to do uh, but uh, the, it's the will of God for the family to stay together that's that's just what I felt uh, God was saying all okay, right Renee uh, God loves you very very much um, I I really just want to say to you there's no judgment against you I just felt that the Lord is just helping you to navigate through life uh, and he is going to give you victory and you are going to go through this process victorious and so you don't have to fear you can be full of joy you can praise the lord you can walk in the in the joy knowing that god is with you and he is directing your steps and he sees your heart that you uh, are su uh, surrendered to him and you are following uh, as he leads you okay god bless you uh, renee okay so uh, your danka um so the lord gave me here um, worship, um, also worship leading, and then I saw business and joy, and then I saw you go through different events in your life, and every time you learn things and you get wisdom, so I felt there's going to be a few situations that you're going to go through, or um, maybe you're going to try something and, and that worked, that didn't work, or you're going to uh, help someone else to do something, and in each one of those things that you get involved with, you're going to learn a new and a higher level of wisdom. And so I felt that the Lord is taking you through the school of wisdom, uh, but at the anointing on your life, I felt was worship, business, and joy. Okay, so uh, your danko, God loves you very, very much. Um, so the next person is Daniela. Okay, so Daniela, the Lord showed me Queen Esther, and uh, He showed me how Queen Esther was prepared for a, a period with oil and she got teaching and she received wisdom from the teaching so that she can appear before the king and i felt that the lord says that he is going to put you in a position where you can have influence where you can stand in a gap uh, and uh, then the lord gave me these two words um, intercession and beauty and i felt that's the two things that god is giving to you he's giving you intercession anointing and he's also making you beautiful and you'll find that people will be attracted to you and you'll be able to speak to them because of that beauty that god is giving to you on the outside and also on the inside all right daniela um, god loves you very much uh, you know you understand what the the name daniela means uh, 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 then is like a judge and l is elohim so daniela is like a judge of god and so there's a real leadership anointing upon your life okay god bless you daniela okay so Anne marie okay so Anne marie uh, the lord gave me this the rest of god and i just felt that the lord says that um uh, you are going to come underneath the lordship of jesus you're going to just do simple things that he tells you and you're going to go out of this massive works mode we have to do 20 things into a position where you're going to walk in the rest of God and then the Lord showed me sheep and how he leads the sheep to the green pasture and also to the water and then I saw you were one of the sheep that was like right next to Jesus and he was kind of like putting his hand on your head and you were like walking with him to this green pasture and to the water and so I felt that the Lord is leading you uh, into a place where you will be sustained uh, and where you can be in his rest and where you can be um on a underneath that covering of the lordship of, of jesus and that's that's the best place in uh, um 11 matthew 11 chapter 29 uh, jesus starts there with saying come to me and i'll give you a rest and then he says be yoked with me and so that being yoked with him meaning you walk with him he's your lord he teaches you and he shows you how to walk and, and that's how you will truly find the rest and I feel that rest is the portion that the Lord is giving to you. All right, Anne-Marie, uh, God loves you very much. All right, Dawn, so uh, Dawn, I, I, I saw a crown of a leader on your head. And, and you've been even a leader while you were in school. You were a, a leader all through your life. Uh, but I felt that there was betrayal in your life. And that, wants to, that betrayal is stopping you from stepping up to be the leader again and i felt that the lord is healing you from the betrayal that came against you and i felt that the lord says is no 
there's no benefit in judging any person uh, or to say, you know, that person, God is going to bring vengeance on them. Uh, there's no benefit in that. I'd have felt that the Lord says, just receive the complete healness of God. Let him wash the past off of your life so that you can move into your future. And then I saw the tree of life uh, on the inside of you like growing. You know, now our heart is also like the Garden of Eden. It's a place where God dwells and where the presence of God is. And I saw the, 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 the life of God just flowing uh, on the inside of you and how you become like a tree of life and everybody that come to you and, and spend time with you, talk with you, eat from you, they just receive the life of God that's flowing out of you. Uh, Jesus said in um, uh, John chapter 7 verse uh, 37 and 38, he said, out of your innermost being will flow a river of life. And so the Lord is opening up that river to flow stronger and stronger. And so uh, the betrayal and the, the hurts that you have is trying to close up that. And so that's why the Lord wants you to receive his healing and let the past go and then move into uh, this, this season of life where there's, there's just constantly life uh, and the joy of God flowing out of your life. All right, Dawn, God loves you and, and you are already a blessing to everybody around you. Uh, but I just see how that, that level of the life of God that flows uh, in you just increases and increases uh, more and more. And I think in Revelation it says there, for him who overcomes, uh, the Lord will give him to eat from the tree of life. And I, and I believe that's, that's your portion. That is what God is giving to you. And you are an overcomer and you, you uh, persevere. So God loves you, Dawn. Uh, so now family, uh, I love each one of you. Uh, I, I ministered now to 10 people and I'll do tomorrow uh, again. I'll see maybe Ian can uh, minister with me uh, uh, when I minister tomorrow. So if you would like to receive ministry, you can just write your name in the comments and I will add it to the list and I'm just going to 10 people a day just continue, continue through my list. Uh, so somewhere along the line you will see yourself uh, getting ministry. Uh, I love and I appreciate each one of you and the Lord has really given me a heart uh, to, to minister to people in this way and so uh, I'm thankful towards God that he, for that privilege and uh, I appreciate each one of you. Have a blessed day. God bless. Please subscribe to our channel and sign up for our newsletter. If you would like to receive personal prophetic ministry, you can join our live stream on Mondays and Fridays. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, Please click here. Yeah.